Well, this is very special. We just encountered a squirrel digging up a hypogeus fungus. Actually, squirrels eat mushrooms, uh, and uh, mushrooms are very scentful. And the squirrel was digging, as we're walking along the trail here in the old growth forest, uh, digging up a mushroom. And so, um, hypogeus fungi are subterranean mushrooms, and they're like little puff balls. And here, they, he took uh, one of them, and here is another one. It's very, very small, but these are mycorrhizal mushrooms. They grow in association with the roots of trees. And um, these hypogeus fungi are very important for squirrels, especially for fi flying squirrels. And it's part of the food chain that leads to the spotted owl. The spotted owl is a predator against the flying squirrel, and the flying, and the flying squirrels and other squirrels consume hypogeus fungi. So the entire food chain leads up to the spotted owl. It shows you how important fungi are for the old growth forest, and especially for indicator species in the old growth forest. Oh yeah, uh, inside this is um, there's a spore-producing layer all on the inside, and so when these things are popped open, they consume them, but the spores then goes through the squirrel's gut. And so the squirrel pellet or a squirrel, squirrel poop, then uh, when it's placed on the ground, becomes the uh, site where the spores then germinate because they have a little fecal pellet and it's very nutritious. And this is one way these hypogeus fungi spread themselves is using squirrels and mammals. So not only humans are attracted to mushrooms, but most mammals are, I would dare say, uh, from bears, you know, to uh, all sorts of other. Uh, you know, quadruped and bipedal mammals uh, engage fungi as a food source. Oh, it's pretty substantial. Mushrooms have up to 40% protein. Um, and they're very high in vitamin B complexes. Um, and also, um, upon exposure to sunlight, they produce vitamin D which is very hard in the food chain to find, very important for your immune system.